Welcome to A Word From The Wise, the podcast from Solwise, where we talk about products, news, or anything that you might be interested in within the industry. We do these on Spotify, Amazon Music, or anywhere where you get your podcast from. Or if you prefer to see us, you can uh, scare yourself and go and watch us over on YouTube and enjoy today's podcast. Welcome to A Word From The Wise, the podcast from Solwise. Uh, this month we welcome Jen McCallum, who is our newest employee, I think, aren't you? But newest <laughs> and possibly oldest this as well at the same time as well, <laughs> without being rude. But yeah. Jen, for those of you that have um, been long-term customers of Solwise, Jen worked with us 20 years ago in the sales administrator role, didn't you? Yeah. Been off, do a few other things. Yeah, it was, uh, what was it April 2006 uh, that I left. Just as we moved to this new site yeah. as well, so you missed all that. Yeah, that was a bit of a relief. It was a relief for you, wasn't it? And then you've been off and doing diving and all sorts of yeah, exciting so, things, living around the world. Yeah, so uh, moved over to Turkey, running a dive centre over there. So quite a difference from uh, wireless networking, which is sort of pretty much just first started yeah. when, when I was at Solwise with you, uh, first time round, and uh, then quick move over to the philippines as you do as you do <laughs> manage a dive center there yeah and then uh, return back to the, the the sunny east yorkshire coastline yeah so, and here we are now yeah, back at it back so in a it. slightly six, different well, 16 and a half years it Is was it? Oh, God. Yeah. since i left and come back <laughs> and i think a few things have changed since then so it was wi-fi yeah. and stuff like that and yeah, adsl was, wasn't i think it? it was sort of like well god adsl was really rocketing and taking off and yeah. we were on 802.11b had we just were. started. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's <laughs> and, uh, that's yeah. certainly moved on yeah, for sure. So the, the wireless technology, I think, itself is still the same yeah. in a fashion, but the way it's advanced in its capabilities is just out of this world. Incredible. Yeah, yeah really incredible. Mm. And now, obviously, we do more on the 4G and 5G, so that's been a whole new learning curve for you it's since you've come back. Very, very much been back to school for me. Well, back to school indeed. You've been to Teltonica <laughs> and done a course. Teltonica School. Yeah, so Absolutely. you've been to Teltonica School. You've got your certificate of completion here for your product training level one. So yeah. level two to come next. Yeah. So those watching on YouTube, this is uh, Jen's <laughs> certificate, which we're very proud of and is in the trophy cabinet downstairs, <laughs> isn't it? Um, and today we're going to talk about um, Teltonica, obviously, now that you're the queen of Teltonica. <laughs> Um, and we're going to talk about the RMS system, yes. which is something we've kind of avoided on this podcast because you just think, <laughs> oh, God, how do we explain that? But now we've got someone who's a professional, <laughs> then we can I'll talk about it. As a compliment. It. Yeah, you should, absolutely should. So go on then, my first question then. What's the point of RMS? Come on. All oh, right, okay. So where to start with that one? RMS has so many functions yeah it really really does if you're in manufacturing you need to remotely monitor uh, such a wide variety of things that you might need to monitor then it's it's the absolute ideal solution for you and i suppose we should have started there really rms means remote monitoring yeah. system yeah. isn't it so yeah. remotely yeah. manage everything that yeah. that you possibly can without having to send an engineer to site to check a problem excellent well that sounds good then can you can you explain perhaps a bit about how it works Right, so how it works. So anything from like uh, your Teltonica router, uh, IoT gateways, access points, and then you go onto the RMS platform, you can register your device or you can register the RMS from the interface on your device, set it up, get yourself a license credit and then manage what you need to manage remotely. And how do I link my router? to the RMS system. Then. It's so easy. It's so, so Even easy. I could do it is what you're saying. Even I could do it. <laughs> Even better, yeah. Yeah. And we're girls. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. <laughs> girls and technology. Yeah. It's marriage made in heaven. So you do need to have uh, an RMS account. Yeah. So you can actually register for a free one month demo account. Oh, so you so can you... try before you buy. That's Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Have a little play around. Um, 
it's probably a little bit more advanced than like the uh, the OS system, whereas in basic mode, you basically can't break it. So yeah. that would be gen proof. Yeah. Uh, advanced mode, I probably wouldn't let myself near it too yeah. much, but the RMS system, you can even download the app and use it from your phone. Oh, right. So get yourself a demo account, yeah. uh, have a little play around. And then after your month, then you just need to carry on with uh, monthly credits or you can get a year's worth or five years worth, but not many people are going to keep their equipment for like five years no. with the way things evolve with like 3g phasing out and now 5g is coming in so a lot of people are probably going to soon be changing yeah. a lot of the equipment that they've got yeah and you can have uh, either a little access code so you just go into the settings on the top right hand side click yeah. on the little icon yeah pop in your access code activate and there you go you're off and running Excellent. for how many months you want you can have a couple of months you can have 60 months yeah. and then you can just manually set it so it will just use a credit every time it one runs out on a monthly rolling basis yeah. or manage it yourself, turn the auto renew off, so yeah. to say, yeah. and then you activate your credit each time you want to renew that when on you, that device. When you're ready. Yeah. So you could have maybe one device, so you just put that device's serial number yeah. into the RMS platform and register it. On there that way so you can have multiple routers in the platform then can oh we, we were some of the uh, cctv monitoring companies that uh, get their credits from us some of them have got between 250 and 500 devices registered wow and they can do everything on all those devices from one place so what can they do so what would they want it for <laughs> probably easier to list what they can't do yeah. on it um, so obviously security is very much a big thing yeah. with this, so you can set all your security preferences on there. If you were having a problem with one of your units, you can remotely reboot it uh, oh, right. from where yeah. you are. Yeah. Um, you can see all the devices, their overall performance, their signal strength. You can troubleshoot, download files with any problems. Can you do firmware upgrades on there as yeah. well? Yeah, and you could set, if you wanted to, the whole fleet of 500 to do firmware upgrade at the same time. Wow, that sounds a bit scary though. 500 <laughs> yeah. all at once. That, that's like pushing the do not press button. Yeah, yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Are there any security implications with having this system in place? Well, you know, like if you've got loads of things all over and can, can somebody get into it? I would say no. Yeah. Because Teltonica takes security so seriously, yeah. it is pretty much tamper proof. I kind of knew the answer when I asked the question, really, but yeah. somebody else might ask that question, yeah. so it's useful to know. No, so yeah. security is obviously a, a priority these days where there is so much like cybercrime, cyber activity, yeah. um, and you can remotely monitor all that as well. So if I've got my 500 routers on this system and one of them goes off, will it let me know? Yes. How does it let me know? It can send you a message. It can send you an email. It yeah. can. Some of them you can set it to send you a text message. Right. So for a lot of manufacturing lines, if temperature control is quite a priority, right. then if something's getting out of its temperature range, it will send you an alert oh, and you, you right. can configure and you can configure each unit individually for yeah. what type of message you want to, right. to be alerted. Wow. So it'll tell you exactly what the problem is and how you're going to get that message. Yeah. And you alluded to earlier that it might give me st some statistics. What sort of statistics might it give um, me? You might thought, well, you can, you, you can do your own reporting. Right. So you can set your um, parameters for, for what statistics. So it could be if maybe in a scenario of where you might be in a university. So there, there, there's quite a good one. So you might want your teachers uh, to have much more access to the surrounding internet um, than the people in the cafe right. doing a bit of studying. Yeah. So you can see if people are trying to access what they shouldn't be accessing uh, and right, you can get reports like that. Yeah. Overall statistics on how everything is operating, how everything's running. Yeah. You, you can just set what statistics you want reported back to you. So my next question is, is why is RMS a good idea? And I kind of, that, that's it, isn't it, really? Everything yeah. you've just said is why it's a good idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. There, there are so many uses for, for RMS. You, you really could go on. Is there, a, on. is there an occasion where you would suggest to a customer RMS is not for them? Yeah, probably myself. Yeah. So for your yeah. home user, yeah. there's domestic, no point. No. Yeah. D domestic user, user, 
probably not something that I myself personally would need. Yeah. However, if I was having maybe CCTV set up at home, if I thought there was maybe a, a, you know, a bit of trouble in the area, yeah. or I did have something you know if the freezer suddenly packs up yeah um, and it'll bring me a message to say the freezer's getting a bit too warm right possibly yeah a little bit far-fetched but yeah for domestic home use probably not probably not not necessary because no, no, they're not dear are they they're just over a quid aren't no, they so exactly. they're not wickedly expensive exactly. but if you don't need it you don't yeah. need it dear yeah. oh that makes sense then mm. so i suppose the only important question is is how do i get it and how do you provide it to me Yes, this is the one that we always have a, a, a lot of fun on. So mm -hmm. there are a, you know, the easiest way is you can just order them obviously off the website. Yeah, there's a few options for like a twelve month package, the the one month uh, credit, or mm -hmm. a, a five year or a ten year package. What is most important when you order them from us is the information you give us. So yeah. obviously, customers that have been using the RMS license for a long time, they have a admin email set yep. up on the rms and they request that those credits are added to that admin email address on because that's how it all started isn't it yeah yeah but then there's been exactly. a new system coming yeah more recently exactly if it was somebody that's uh, just got a new router they just want to try it out for a couple of months so they're only going to purchase a couple of months credits more than likely what you would want is just a code without mm. setting up yeah. um on the uh, the actual rms platform so then you would just go into your settings pop that license code in so even if it's one code you can still have one two up to 12 up to 400 credits associated to that code right and activate it and then distribute them yourself right i see of right, where you yeah. want them to go so and how do we get that code to them from me <laughs> so you just email it to them yeah. or send it in their invoice or something yeah, like that can have yeah. it as a, an email a, you know on your dispatch note your delivery note your well, invoice at the end of yeah. the day but uh, but yeah. it's essentially a, a long code of letters and numbers that yes we send them. Yeah. it's a really really long code so be very careful where you you put it in that safe space yeah make sure you copy and paste it yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely so yeah when you place in the order if you're doing it on the website and um, there is a little area for extra order information yeah if you're really really not sure you know just put don't know how to get access to this um or if we've got no information at all we're going to drop you a line and say right okay are you setting yourself up on the rms platform yeah. and that's where it is slightly different as well just something to add in here some may well already be set up on teltonica's rms yeah but we don't actually allocate those credits right. from there it's actually allocated from the Soulwise. Right, so we need to set RMS them up in problem. our system to Absolutely. get Absolutely, yeah. so we can see if that email address is active in the system of RMS, yeah. and then we can send you an invite to join the Soulwise system, right. okay. then I can add uh, the credits onto that email address then. Yeah. Otherwise, you can just have the code and get everything set up and running yeah. from there. So on first look, it, you think, oh, crikey, this looks a, a bit complicated, but it isn't really, is not. it? No, 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 it's really, really easy. So for, you know, for, for some people, even if they are managing 500 devices, uh, they, they still sometimes opt to have the code. Yeah. But they'll ask for, like, 50 sets of 12 codes right, okay. and allocate them that way. So right. it really is personal preference yeah. um, on how you want your RMS credits allocated. But it's super helpful if you let us know. Yeah. And if anyone's not them. sure, they can always give you a yeah, ring or pop an email across. Yeah. yeah, drop an email down. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to remotely manage your, your billboard, uh, your CCTV cameras, um, other scenarios, which is, is quite fascinating for me. Again, it goes back to how technology's moved on. Yeah. Is health checking crops where farmers find it really oh, right. Yeah. So if you've got 5G enabled drones, yeah. you can send the drone out, check out the health of all your crops and manage it that way. Oh, that's cool. Uh, how clever is that? that is, uh, <laughs> I am easily impressed with technology. Yeah. That's got to be so. How clever is that? It's, it's, it's amazing to say, it's probably easy to say what you can't do. Yeah, you're not wrong With there, these yeah. systems than what you can do. Well, I think that's been really useful, Jen. Thanks yeah. ever so much for joining us this month and hopefully we'll get you back for another <laughs> month. Um, yeah, so we'll talk about something else. Back to school for something else. I think next on my list is ingenious, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and fibre. Fibre connectors. I think definitely, that I've been learning yeah. how yeah. To, to make fibre connectors. Yeah, that'll be useful. We'll send you out then. You can start doing that for people. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much. You're okay. Thank you. Enjoyed it. And thank you everybody for watching, listening, um, and so on. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you for either watching or listening to today's podcast. If you've got any ideas, pop us an email over to sales at solwise.co.uk um, and we will see you next time.